View log entries. As soon as we use and select the log viewer, the master pane displays the entries in ascending order according to the dates and times in the date, time column, unfiltered. It would be more of a coincidence to find the information you are looking for right away in the first listing. However, often you are looking for a certain activity, an event that happened or you know approximately the time of the occurrence. Using the filter makes it easy to search for specific information. With a mouse click in the search area, we get a selection of search attributes that help us to reach the target efficiently. In this use case, we know the time of the event and would like to show how to limit the search by date and time. So, we select the corresponding attribute, and the application offers us three mathematical comparison signs. With the equal symbol we can choose a specific date with or without time. As an example, we take the date January 17th and ignore the time. Then, to apply the selected filter attributes, we click again in the filter bar and press the Enter key. The date display in the master pane confirms that the search was successful, and the number of entries found has decreased. In the next search, we filter with a time range between 10 o'clock am and to 1 p.m. the same day. Using the date, time attribute twice. This allows us to greatly narrow the search result and we have learned that multiple attributes can be applied simultaneously. We add a filter that should help us to find the exact time and the operator who performed set point changes in a ventilation system. The activity we are looking for is called, command initiated. With this attribute we can find most of the command executions in the system. The search result is three log entries, but not really what we expected. We now remember that we have chosen the wrong date and would like to point out that we do not have to start the search from the beginning. The application also allows us to change search criteria very efficiently, as we can see here. We start the search again and are now successful. The user expert BA has changed two set points within a few seconds just before 1 o'clock. The Flex client also offers the possibility to easily remove one of the search attributes and restart the search. In our example, all value changes since January 18, 2023, are visible as of 10 o'clock in the morning. Do you remember how we promised in the chapter event notes in event handling, that you can find the information of event notes with the log viewer? We select activity and when we type event, we immediately get a few suggestions and one of them. Event notes added, is the feature we were looking for. Easily and quickly we have found our notes again. For individual attributes, object system knowledge is necessary for the query to end successfully. We will give two examples. For the event cause it is necessary to know the property that is being searched for. A typical attribute is high limit or low limit. We use high limit and can see the result. In terms of the attribute value, a much used case is the property, out of service. With this search we can get information about the objects that are out of service. Some searches are straightforward and require no knowledge of the system, and others require some object or system knowledge, but you will learn this quickly by using the Flex client. How to find all the different topics in the online help, you have learned in the meantime and so we end here this chapter and invite you to discover chapter 7, Reports.